Okay, this is flag, flag, you know. this is Sherry and Dave and Henry Rollins from Black Flag. Is that your name? Is that your, not uh, your name? I'm supposed to introduce. <laughs> this is. My name's Henry. I'm in the band Black Flag. And who are the other band members? In Black Flag. Yes. Uh, Greg on guitar, Kira Rossler on bass, and Anthony on drums. Okay. Um, would you like to start us out with a short history of the band? Well, Black Flag is a band from uh, Hermosa Beach, California. The band started about 1976, and uh, there's been a few lineup changes here and there, but the band is intact, and uh, here we are. What was the initial reaction to your music when you first began? Um, hatred, revulsion, fear, more hatred, and... Uh, mixes of the uh, three aforementioned. Uh, do you write any of the lyrics for the band? Uh, a little bit over half right now. Me and Greg basically do all the lyrics. Okay, and uh, what inspires you? I mean, what makes you, what do you write about? Oh, uh, just things I feel, things I think about, and that can be inspired by anything, you know, maybe something today, you know, the, uh, from doing all this might make me think of something, you know, just like a normal person thinking and feeling and uh, being there, you know, makes you do stuff, makes you think about stuff and uh, makes you want to communicate and what well, makes me want to communicate, that's why I do what I do. And what are a few of the songs that you've written? Well, uh, on the new album or just in general? or On the new album I wrote a song called I'm the One, which I like a whole lot. Uh, I've written, let's see, Wound Up, The Bars. Uh, I don't know, I forget all the titles. I wrote a whole bunch. All right, uh, what sort of feeling do you want people to get when they hear your music? Is it sort of a release for them, or should it make them think or feel a certain way? Well, I would, personally, I would, I would hate to um, tell people what to feel about anything. Um, I hope they feel what they want or whatever they feel. I, I, I think if you tell them what to feel, that's half the fun is gone. I, mean, I think moreover, like, do you just are you just out for people to enjoy your music? Is that what it is? No. Or are you can trying to change the world in some way? No, I'm not into the the YouTube Bruce Springsteen yeah. trip either. I'm I'm here to do my music, and I play for me, and that's the attitude of Black Flag. Black Flag plays for Black Flag. We're not an entertainment unit. We don't have this message of, you know, it's just, there it is. It's there to be taken or left. And that's it. It's very simple. You know, there's really no method to our madness. You know, we just play and we enjoy playing. And it would seem a lot of other people enjoy the fact that we play also enough for us to go around and do it in several cities all over the world. Yeah. Okay, hypothetical question from left field. The Ministry of Entertainment at the White House screws up and Black Flag gets to play for the president. It gets through the censors and all that. What song would you open with and why? Well, I don't know. Well, we've been opening with Loose Nut every night, so I guess we'd probably open with Loose Nut. Do you think Reagan would slam? I don't know. I don't know him. Okay. I know I wouldn't care. Just like I don't care what anyone else does. I mean, as long as they don't try and hurt me or uh, try and go out and hurt someone else, I mean, I don't care what someone does. I'm not into these people who go and try and hurt people. I'm not into violence like that. That's not good. But uh, I'm into freedom and doing what you want. Okay. Um how do you think the smaller scenes like Knoxville and places like that compare to some of the larger scenes such as New York in the terms of the crowds, the attitudes and that sort of thing? Well, I think everyone is the same in that they're, you know, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, a brain, you know, feeling, boy, girl, and that's all the same. What I have found, my experience has been in larger cities, sometimes, sometimes you might find more of a cynical I've heard it before attitude because a lot of times they have. I mean, uh, Black Flag will pl play New York four times in a year, wherein we'll play Knoxville once or twice. You know, so 
you might find it a more cynical thing, but maybe not. You know, we play a lot of major cities that are just really cool, like here. I mean, last time Black Flag played Knoxville, we had a really good time, and we were all very eager to come back here. In fact, all the shows we did in Tennessee were great the last time, and so far we've done uh, Nashville and Memphis, and they've both been great. We've had a great time. That was this Friday and Saturday. It's real fun. Do you find in some of the more developed scenes that you play at that uh, as a scene develops, attitudes start to coagulate around it and it gets more restricted? Or do you find I'll that... Find anytime there's a scene, there's definite restrictions. And that's why I'm not into scenes and I don't support scenes. Because when you support scenes, you support unity. And I'm not into unity. I don't want to play to a mass of people. If there's 100 people in the room, I want to play in front of 100 persons not a big blob of cells they're not all they don't all think the same i would hope not It'd be a pretty boring world okay do you have any questions if you could be any animal what would it be a rat why or a roach because a rat if you, we threw you in the ocean and a rat in a big pail of water and left you both overnight the rat would, it would be treading water in the morning and you'd be dread, dead drowned Rat can uh, chew through the cinder block right here. It can uh, chew through lead pipe. It can uh, nourish itself on food that you would not even go near. And it can uh, tread water for 24 hours. The roach can survive nuclear devastation, uh, poison. It lives to perpetuate itself. It's a perfect survival machine. So if it wasn't a human being, I'd like to be more of a perfect machine. The human is very faulty, very frail, very stupid. And I think there's more beauty in something like a the roach or a rat, something that lives to live. With is there anything stupid or silly that you'd like to say that no other interviewer has given you a chance to say? I wish people would call me Cindy Lauper more often than Henry. I like, I like the name Cindy. Cindy is a nice name. Ever since I was young, I always felt more comfortable with the name Cindy. So maybe if you saw me now, if you said, hey, Cindy, it might make me feel nice. Cindy Rollins? Yeah, I kind of like that. It's kind of nice, Cindy yeah. Rollins. Oh, I think it's silly. One more question. Yes. Do you watch ATV? Of course not. <laughs> Uh, but I think wait. we can end this interview now. Turn the lights off. Yeah. Do I get my money now? Where's my money? Wait, wait. You can go on. Go play. <laughs> Thank you.